Hey guys, welcome to your unilateral lower body workout. So this workout, we're going to do unilateral training, which that means just working one limb at a time, okay? It's a really good way if you are using quite heavy weights in the gym for your lower body training and you haven't got that sort of weight at home, your limited kit, it's a really good way to still create same sort of muscle building signal for your lower body as you were in the gym with your heavyweights even though we're limited we've got a limited kit at home all right so we're putting all the emphasis on one limit at a time so we're demanding more from that specific muscle so we don't need to go with quite as heavy as we would in the gym because we're putting more weight and more of an emphasis on that one body part at a time one that one that one limit at a time all right so really important to do unilateral work especially when you've got limited kit so you can demand a little bit more from the muscle another good reason to do unilateral work is You'll probably notice you've got muscular imbalances. You'll have one more dominant side, one more weaker side, especially legs, chest, arms. Um, when you're doing an exercise, you'll notice that you might one one side will go weak and fatigue more quickly than the other side. So when you do unilateral work, working one limb at a time, it'll help bring those imbalances back up and create muscular balance throughout your body, create that symmetry. So your more so your weaker side is up in line. With your more dominant side and get that overall muscular balance to your body all right so the lower body workout we're going to do today um quite technical the exercises are but we can change them up so there is alternatives for each one if you struggle <coughs> with any of them at all okay so i'll quickly run through with you it's just three different exercises we're going to do an entire set on one side of the body and an entire set on the other side of the body now we're going to the next exercise entire set on one side of the body the other set on another side and then the last one as well. So we're going to do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. We're going to do four rounds all together, okay? So just three different exercises. We're going to start off by doing Bulgarian split squats. Okay, so one leg at a time. Just going to need either a seat or bench, okay? Nothing more than that. You don't even need dumbbells. You can do this workout body weight, entirely body weight, and you'll still get a good workout in. All right, so split stance so you're going to bring that back foot up onto your bench or onto your chair chest up in your bulgarian split squats we're going down as deep as we can and pushing back up through the heel okay so we're going to stay on one leg all the way through the first exercise okay 40 seconds on to so get your 20 seconds rest and we'll go on to the next leg okay so back foot up chest up we're sinking hips straight down pushing up through the heels all right next exercise after that we're going to do we're going to move on to your glutes so before we do if you struggle with your balance and stability elevating that back foot what you can do is exactly the same we can just do static lunges so both feet stay grounded with your static lunges instead of your bulgarian split squats all the way through and then swap sides for the next set the glute work we're going to do so stay exercise number three and four, we're going to do single leg glute bridges, all right? So again, we don't need a weight, but put as much demand on your glutes as you can. So we're going to put the shoulders on the bench or your chair. So take one foot flat. We don't want the leg too close to the body. We don't want it too far away, so nice and balanced. Foot flat, weight balanced. We're going to take one leg straight. If you're using a weight, just pop it on that straight leg. And we're going to sink the hips down as low as you can and push up through the heel, squeezing the glute, okay? So we're working that muscle in your bum, up and squeeze as tight as you can at the top, slowly back down. All right, once we've got one set done, you're on to the other side, swap the weight rounds, get yourself nice and stable, sink the hips down, trip through the heel, squeeze the glute at the top, control back down. Right, and again, if you struggle with stability and balance using a bench, we can just do the exercise on the floor. So it's exactly the same. Line flat, one leg straight. You're pushing through the heel, squeezing the glute at the top, controlling back down. So one set, one side, one set, the other. And now there's just one more exercise that we're going to do. It's quite a technical exercise, but again, there is alternatives. So we're going to do single leg RDLs. So we're going to get the dumbbells side of the body 
and we're going to hinge from the hips, keeping your back nice and straight, soft knees, and that back leg is going to come up. We're getting a good stretch in the hamstrings, trying to get the power, chest parallel to the ground, and then we're powering back up. So back stay nice and straight, good stretching hamstrings to get one set done. On to the next round and we'll go on to the next leg. Same again. Controlling down, focusing on that balance. Powering back up. That's all the movements coming from the hips. We're hinging over, getting that chest parallel. And you'll feel that good stretch and contraction down the hamstrings. Alright, so there are three different exercises. We're going to start off doing split squats. So quickly get warmed up and then we can get cracking. Okay, so it's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So start, little arm circles, shoulders mobile. Back the other way. Getting into some forward lunges. And body weight squats, hips opened up before we go into your lower body work. guys we'll get cracking so four rounds all together three different exercises but we're going to do one round on one limb another round on the other limb okay <clears throat> so get your music ready i'm going to do the entire workout with you it's 40 seconds on 20 seconds rest the first exercise we're going to do is bulgarian split squats okay Right, so away we go. Back leg up, nice and balanced, chest up, because we're trying to reach squat. We go on to the next leg, okay? So we're staying up all getting in split squats, go on to the other side. <clears throat> so right leg's planted, left foot's up. Chest staying up, back nice and straight. Down as deep as we can, pushing up for the heel still. So I'm going to start on my left side, shoulders on the bench, right leg straight, sinking the hips down, pushing up to the heel, squeezing the glutes at the top.
20 seconds rest. On to the next side. Get that good work. You remember, squeeze it at the top. Sink the hips as low as you can. single leg ordeals, so hinge at the hips. Forgot to say, if you can't do the ordeals, if you struggle with your balance, you can just do reverse lunges instead. So stay on one side for the first set and on to the other side for the second. Alright, we're going to go to your ordeals. Left leg first. Chest up, back nice and straight. Slowly down. Power up. You're always keeping your chest up. Hinging from the hips. We've got stretch in the hamstrings, what we're looking for. To the next leg. Okay, onto the right side. Same again, hinge from the hips, back nice and straight. Bring that chest parallel to the ground. Stretching the back of the legs out, and powering the hips through. First round done, 20 seconds, back into split squats. So even though you're using light weights, you'll notice a lot of a demand on the muscle, okay? So you're just using one limb at a time, it does take it out of you. Into your split squats. Side. So left foot up, big stride, back nice and straight, 
Hold the demand on the front leg. Bridges. It's unstable, shoulders on the bench or you sit, do it on the floor if you need to, struggle with balance. Do your left leg first, okay? Sinking the hips down as far as you can, pushing up with the heel, squeezing the glute at the top. Working leg, think the hips. single leg or the owls. Start left leg, hinging from the hips, remember guys, chest up, back straight. To the next time. Remember, if you struggle with your RDLs, you can do uh, reverse lunges instead. One, one set, one side, one set, the other. <coughs> right onto the right side, hinge from the hip. Seconds rest, two more rounds left. <coughs> we now have 30 
Rest. You'll notice you don't do massive weights when you're doing unilateral training. Putting a lot of emphasis on one side of the body at a time so you can get that same signal by using a lot lighter weights. It's still just as demanding for the muscle. Okay guys, back to split squats. Left foot first, back foot elevated, and keep going. Twelve. Put that same as foot squats onto the next side. A big stride. Self stable and balanced. And now you straight down, pushing straight back up that front leg. Same as the last leg. There we go. Woo. Right, glutes. Still stable, shoulders on your seat or your bench. Left leg first. Get that leg straight. Think both hips. Rising up. Squeezing the glutes. Set and stable, changing those hips, get the pushes off. On to all the owls. Finish off the third round. Find balance, stability, chest off. Ugh. <sighs> 
looks like. Engine from the head. Focus on the hamstring. Nice big stretch. Power the hips through. Seconds, grab yourselves a drink, wipe the sweat out your eyes. <laughs> we'll go into your last round. A little finisher at the end, too. Split squats for the last round. Big wide stride, isolate that front leg. Back foot elevated. Next side, fit my sending your time, get yourself set and ready. Come on. Side. Oh. <sighs> 
Stations. That's your RDLs. Balance, stability. Remember, it's a hip hinge exercise. Two guys. Excellent guys, well done. Let's have a minute or so, get recovered, We've got a little finish as you just finish off with your lower body. <sighs> Told you it was tough in your lateral work. <sighs> Prove you don't need to be just lifting loads of weight all the time as ever as we can to get a good workout in and to send good muscle building signals to the lower body and to all your body if your workouts are good and positive and intense you're going to finish off a little finish here heaviest weight you've got we're going to do goblet squats no rest at the top so we're not locking the legs out goblet squat up straight back into it so it's my knees not locking out as many reps as we can keeping tension on if you're struggling you can't do any more you know, drop the weight down just go into body weight squats many as we can if you do as many as you can and you're struggling go to the bottom and hold for as long as you can and we'll just finish off with that So when you're ready guys, heavy dumbbell or weight you've got in front of your chest, many body weights and many squats as you can, goblet squats, and we're going to put it down into body weight squats and we're going to do a hold at the end, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so where you go, it's going to be on you, however many you can do. We're not resting at the top, we're not coming all the way out, keeping tension on. Hold. Oh, that's it. As long as you can. Oh, 
Right, take the tension off, don't guys. Whew. Just beating out the legs there at the end. Whew. Great effort, everyone. Well done. Keep it going. If you've got any more body parts you want me to do workouts for or program, just let me know. I'll be doing a few more videos. Keep getting these workouts to you to keep you going through such a tough time. Stay positive, everyone. See you soon.